Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Weather turned things over to Matt. Matt, I have to say, I typically stay in on Friday nights and I feel bad about it. But today's one of those days I do not have to feel bad about it because the weather is just not a good not a good night to go out. No, it certainly isn't, <laughs> but it will make up for it tomorrow. We'll have light uh, winds, a lot of sunshine, so yeah. a good weekend to get out for sure. We got to get through all this rain and snow first. So here's Storm Tracker showing where the rain and snow showers are. We got some light showers in the Champlain Valley for now. Not really a big deal, but this wider swath of precipitation that's over places like Messina, Malone, and the Canadian border, that's going to move east as we head through the rest of the day, bringing a uh, higher chance for showers and some accumulating mountain snow. And here's this back edge of the storm and it's pushing south and east fairly quickly and it will do so as a high pressure system builds in, leaving us with a spectacular day on Saturday. I'll talk about that in just a minute. Here's Burlington right now. It's cloudy out there, gray, overcast, dreary, as Zuri was saying. Just not a very good day to get out there, but at least it is mild. It's 46 degrees right now with light winds around five miles per hour. So certainly not feeling too bad around the region. We're mostly in the 40s, upper 40s in the upper valley, mid to upper 40s in the Champlain Valley. A few 30s starting to show up in the Adirondacks as some of this colder air starts to bleed in from the north and west. So our weather headlines, we've got the afternoon rain and snow showers. I think we could even see a few snowflakes in the valley as well, but there won't be any accumulation. That accumulation will be confined to the higher elevations several inches possible there and then our high pressure system moves in on Saturday. I think winds diminished throughout the day will start off a little bit gusty, maybe in a few morning clouds, especially in the Northeast Kingdom, but overall looking at a spectacular afternoon. And then unfortunately Sunday, more clouds come in as a system passes by to our south, kind of spoiling the party there. So here's future cast. I'll time out the rest of the weekend for you. Here's the rain and snow showers making their way in here through this evening. So during the evening commute, don't be surprised to see flakes flying in the Champlain Valley even. And notice the mountain snow kind of lingers throughout Friday night. We still have the uh, mountain snow uh, machine cranking out there and then it lasts through Saturday morning. I think by then we'll start to see some breaks in the clouds in the Champlain Valley especially. And then it's a mostly sunny day throughout the rest of Saturday before clouds take over. Once again, as you step out the door Sunday, it will be overcast mostly. And then some rain and snow showers could skirt by to our south during the afternoon and evening. Otherwise, it is a mostly dry day for the majority of us. So as far as snow totals go from this little mountain event, not much in the Champlain Valley. It just be, will be too warm, so we're not expecting really a, much of anything. But as you head toward northern New York, widespread one to three, a band of three to six possible in some of the higher elevations. And then right along the Green Mountains is where we're expecting the most accumulation. And of course, the more favorable spots like Jay Peak, Mount Mansfield, even Mount Ellen could get into some totals six plus and then one to three as you head towards southern Vermont along the spine of the Green Mountains. Another thing you'll notice is the winds pick up quite a bit as we head through this evening and into tonight. Could gust 30, 35, even 40 miles per hour in some cases as we head through early Saturday. So certainly we'll add another chill to the air as we've got temperatures dropping into the 20s tonight. So basically right around average for we should be this time of year. And then we got that spectacular day tomorrow with mostly sunny skies, light winds, especially in in the afternoon temperatures getting into the upper 40s. We got the clouds on Sunday, but still dry and then a seasonable start to next work week with uh, temperatures in the 40s and 50s and partly sunny skies. Sorry.